Welcome to Sketching in SolidWorks. This short video is intended for new SolidWorks users so that we can introduce sketching, which is one of the core skills of the software. By the end of the video, we hope you understand where you can sketch, and also how to start a sketch, stop a sketch, and how to edit an existing sketch. Let's take a look at SOLIDWORKS now and start a new part. As we start a new part, what you'll be looking into is basically 3D space. Anytime we want to use our sketch tools, we need to choose a two-dimensional plane or face to sketch on. By default, we're always given the front, top, or right plane. At the center of these planes, is the part origin. To start a new sketch, you need to select a plane, such as the front plane, and click on the sketch icon. The first thing that you should notice is that the confirmation corner appears. After I'm done sketching some sketch entities, I can accept the sketch and click here, or cancel the sketch and click the X. Let me click on the Rectangle tool. After sketching the rectangle, I can click on the green check mark to close the Rectangle tool. But I'm still inside of the sketch because the confirmation corner is still here. I'll click the OK to accept the changes I've made. As I exit the sketch, you'll notice the confirmation corner goes away and the sketch turns gray or inactive. Another thing that happens is it puts the sketch in the design tree. Let's make another sketch. This time I'll make a sketch on the top plane. I'll select the plane and click on the sketch button. Now I'm not looking directly onto the top plane, but I can change that by hitting the space bar and clicking Normal 2. I'm now looking directly onto the top plane. I'll sketch a circle. If that's all I need to do in the sketch, I can just hit the OK mark and exit the sketch. As I rotate around, what you'll notice is that the two sketches are on different planes. You'll also see that Sketch 2 appeared in the design tree. Let me add another sketch on the right plane. I'll select the plane and hit the sketch button. I'll now hit the space bar and click normal too. I'll draw another rectangle. After drawing the rectangle, I can click the check mark. And if I need to continue sketching more items, I can select another sketch tool, such as the line tool. To exit the line tool, hit the check mark. And when I'm done sketching in this, I can hit OK. As I rotate around, you'll notice the three sketches. Also in the design tree, you'll see sketch 1, two, and three. If I need to make any changes to these sketches, I can simply right-click on one of the sketches and choose Edit Sketch. This makes the sketch active again, and you'll notice that the confirmation corner is back. As I look Normal 2, I can now edit the sketch, such as adding dimensions or drawing other sketch entities. To exit the sketch and accept my changes, I'll hit the confirmation corner. So to review, I can only use my sketch tools on a flat planar surface such as the front, top, or right plane, for example. To open a sketch, select a plane and click on the sketch button. 
you can then choose your tools and draw. To close a sketch, hit the confirmation corner. To edit a sketch, right click on the sketch and choose Edit Sketch. You can then adjust the sketch as needed. And once again to exit the sketch, click on the confirmation corner.